What a wild first night of the 2022 NFL Draft. Welcome into the Cleveland Browns Report by Chat Sports. Yours truly, Matthew Peterson here, getting into a day two mock draft for the Browns. Honestly, day one was so much fun in round one. All the trades, it felt like it was a never-ending roller coaster that just kept going up and up and up and up, and we never actually went down because it was that much of a climax building up to it. So let's look at some of the draft picks that the Browns have going into days two and three as the Browns will finally make a pick sometime soon. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd much rather have Deshaun Watson than a first-round pick this year. I'm not salty about the fact that uh, a bit of FOMO was going on for round one of the draft, but it was a lot of fun, I'm not going to lie. Would have liked to have the Browns added on to the chaos amongst all the trades and the draft of Palooza and players flying all over the place. It was It was a wild first night, no doubt about it. Honestly, maybe the craziest first night of the draft in recent memory. So if you are excited for the Browns to make a pick, right, to finally have the spotlight and be the team that all the experts and everyone is talking about, like the video. Hit the thumbs up icon because I know there were points during the first round where I was like, yeah, it'd be kind of cool if they talked about the Browns at some point, you know what I mean? But now Cleveland will finally have its turn as the Browns pick at number 44. But who could they get at 44? Well, before I show you my mock draft and who's available, here were some notable picks beforehand to have an idea of who already went. So, N'Kobe Dean slipped out of round one into round two, goes to Tennessee. Watson, that's an interesting name. Christian Watson ends up with the Houston Texans in this mock draft. Alec Pierce, another wide receiver that went. We know the Browns are looking for one. Six wide receivers went in round one. Who will be left when the Cleveland Browns are on the clock at number 44? Here's who, here's who was on the board when I was making my mock draft picks. Honestly, a lot of great names. Perion Winfrey, David Ajabo, Travis Jones, George Pickens, and John Mechie. If the board looks like this when Andrew Barry in the war room are at work tomorrow night, I, I'd be pumped about this because I don't think there's a bad pick of any of these five guys here. Maybe a little early for Mechie, but ultimately... I went with George Pickens. I know that the Browns need help on the defensive line, but Pickens' upside is just way too high to pass up on. The guy was a borderline first-round pick. So to get him at 44, you just talk yourself into, now that's good value. You know what I mean? That is some great value. If other mock drafts had him going in the teens at some point, and you find him at 44, you're going to be pretty up, uh, pumped up about that. And with that being said, a lot of people think he's a top five wide receiver. Six are already gone. In the mock draft I just did, two more went after that. So to have him be, what, the ninth, eighth receiver off the board when he could be top five? Sounds pretty great to me. And fortunately for Pickens, some red flags have popped up regarding his character and some feeling like he may be too immature. He needs some veteran leadership. And also, we're talking about a player, and we'll show you some stats soon, that's rather young in his career so who do you want to draft in round two you know who is your top guy I'd have no issue if it's Perion Winfrey or Travis Jones to help beef up that interior defensive line but the upside of Pickens it's just too good to pass up on now it's a little strange because it's a player who's only had 90 receptions in his entire collegiate career that's about a season and a quarter for most of the guys that went uh in the first round tonight he was injured this past season, only played in four games, the final four of the season, banged up his sophomore year, but a big-time recruit his freshman year. And listen, he made Jake Fromm, who we all know now, not a very good quarterback, look like a very good quarterback. So I like the idea of helping Deshaun Watson out, who doesn't need much help, but why not add more fuel to the fire in the AFC by getting him a bona fide wide receiver? We are 306 subs away from reaching eight thousand subscribers so if you are looking for a browns news and rooms rumors channel it gets you free content from the draft to free agency all the way to week one for the nfl season and everything in between hit that big red button and subscribe join what's one of the fastest growing browns youtube communities out there make sure you subscribe that way you stay in the know for the entirety of this year's draft on to pick 78 so now we're in round three Here's who we're looking at. Who could the 
Cleveland Browns draft. You got Brandon Smith, a linebacker from Penn State. Okay, okay. Matthew Butler helps out on the interior defensive line out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Sam Williams um, right there from Ole Miss. Brian Asamoah from Oklahoma. And Zachary Carter out of Florida. Ultimately, I go with Sam Williams, the defensive end out of Ole Miss. Good time to remind you, the NFL draft is crazy. So if some of these mock drafts look a little wild, you know what? I would say, did you see the first round of the NFL draft tonight? Because that was the wildest first round in recent memory, and only one quarterback was drafted. Listen, Williams has huge upside as a starter for the Browns potential, as a contributor. Three-year starter for Ole Miss. We'll show you the stats in a little bit. He does have some red flags, and I'm not going after the red flags kind of guys. I'm looking for players that can help Cleveland win a Super Bowl in 2022. And Sam Williams, who was dismissed for the program, or suspended from the program uh, back in 2020 after getting arrested and having the Chargers uh, later dismissed and came back to the team, he may be the type of player that falls because of those off-the-field concerns. But if the Browns can, I don't know, whip him into shape, right, get him on track and make sure he's going to be a valuable member of this team and not let the things off the field take him away from inside the lines, works for me. Because a player that had 12 and a half sacks last season to be in round three, yeah, say less. Like, I'll do that. Tack on four forced fumbles. He was awesome for the Rebels' defense. We've seen this before where players slip because of off-the-field issues and – the NFL is not a league of second chances. It is a league of fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth chances. If you've got talent, they'll try to find a way to make it work. Sam Williams, he's got talent. We've got ultimate NFL draft coverage over at Chat Sports. So if you're looking for a spot to watch the NFL draft for free and get the best up to date, by the way, we don't wait until like ESPN and NFL Network makes the picks. 20 minutes behind everyone else we get you the latest draft content the latest draft picks pick by pick make sure you subscribe to chat sports youtube.com slash chat sports tv that's the thumbnail click on it to get the best rounds two and three coverage starting friday tomorrow night 6 p.m eastern i want to pose this question as well what do you think the browns biggest need is in rounds two and three you know is it wide receiver that's where i'm kind of leaning it's a little bit more I'm leaning that way because it's not so much my opinion as much as I'm studying Andrew Barry. We've got one draft to work with and I, in free agency or two free agencies now, and I don't know how much he really values a defensive line position. You know, that interior defensive tackle spots. Last year he was happy with going with two Malik's off the street, McDowell and Jackson, who are very different points in their career, and they made it a – 13, 14th ranked run defense, and they're like, all right, yep, that's going to do it for us here. We're happy to low investment, not a high impact, but we'll make do, we'll duct tape our way between our defensive end spots. So in round three, I do help out that interior defensive line by selecting Zachary Carter, defensive lineman out of Florida, and this is what I'm talking about. How much value does Andrew Berry put in DT, you know? Signed Taven Bryan, former first-round pick from the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, in free agency. And he's got Tommy Togiai, fourth-round pick last year out of Ohio State. Maybe there's some confidence that he can rise the ranks this offseason. I wouldn't be surprised if Barry goes, all right, let's sign one or two veteran free agents and we'll draft someone in round three and call it a day because I don't think the defensive tackle position is worthy of a second round draft pick. You look at what Carter did this past season for the Florida Gators. He's more than just like your run stopper. He can get after the quarterback, which is what I like a lot about him. 11 tackles for loss, eight sacks to go on top of that. You can actually move him around the defensive line a little bit. Now that's not exactly what Joe Woods does schematically. You know, he likes to keep it rather neat and proper up front. He likes his four down linemen and He's not going to throw too many exotic packages per se. But if you got a versatile chess piece like Zachary Carter, he may very well start doing that. Overall, here's my day two mock draft. I went Pickens out of Georgia. And then Sam Williams, the edge rusher out of Ole Miss. And then I help out that defensive line by going with Zachary Carter out of Florida. So that's who I mock draft. Or that's who I picked in my mock draft. I'm curious, you know, what you guys think about this mock draft, okay? Like the video and 
while you're down there hitting that thumbs up icon, grade it for me. A, B, C, D, or F. I think at this point, I'm going to be a little hurt if I get an F because a lot of people were saying stuff that would never happen actually happened in the first round. So just roll with the punches that the NFL draft is crazy. Never say never. Hit that thumbs up icon. We'll catch up with you later with more Browns draft coverage here on the Cleveland Browns Report. Thank you.